It is Thursday, currently 25 past nine, and I have got the dentist today, and that is boring as hell. So here's yesterday's charity shop trip. But before I show you that, of course, I'm gonna go to the charity shop straight after I've been to the dentist as well. So we have some more footage there, and then we've got a ton of sales to go through, so. See when we get back. Shit, did I bring my keys? Yes. Hello. Oh, aren't they lovely? No thank you though. Probably worth it, but oh no, look at that. Oh god. Hello. That's a maybe. It's little Nintendo leads. Can't get any signal today. So everything I buy is pure, pure gut. All that stuff in there, I've got no idea. Looks like Transformers. All that stuff in there, I've got no idea. So it's purely just instinct today. And my battery's about to die as well. I remember having this stuff. You just pull it apart and snap it across. Matchbox, I think. Yeah, that's it, you pull it apart like that. Well, I've never found one before, but... I think it might be red line, I don't know. I don't know. So I'm going to pick it up just in case and find out when we get home. Christmas, Dubai. I reckon there's seven quid in that. Just spotted something. I think there's a couple of them as well. Just look that up. It's quite a nice little brand on that. Some strong sellers and 325. We'll take a risk. I'm pretty sure I saw another one. Or was it Susie D? There's a Max Studio there. One day, Stephen. One day. One day. Probably not when my batch is on 2% though. Well, then it's done. I've never had it where they say come back in nine months instead of six. I must be doing something right, eh? So if I've done this right, you should have seen yesterday's charity shop trip by now. Should have. But we're about to go to another one now, so strap on, strap in. <sighs> See you in a minute. Here we go. Oh shit, feds. Oh, ambulance again. It's only been a day. Let's see if there's any fresh stuff out. Hello. 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 Yeah. Morning. Oh, hello, Ricky. You all right? Yeah, good, thanks, guys. Good. Found any more phones? No, not today, or yesterday. I think I've had them all. I'm sure there'll be some more in a couple of days. <laughs> I left that by the way. Just a nice shirt, isn't it? Where's it all gone? All the stuff. I've done all that stuff, I'll be there, you can't do that stuff. So I'm just doing this, yeah, thank you very much, that's absolutely. Gotta buy that, haven't I? <laughs> thank you. It's all disappearing, isn't it? Oh, well. Straight yeah. off to the old junkyard. <laughs> you know, okay, yeah, sorry. The recycling. Yeah. Thank you. No, recycle them. Recycle them, very emotive these days. That's it. Same with the 175 is worth it, isn't it? Those little bits and pieces. Who's it by? I wonder if Anna Club plushed as well without it being WWF. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, I'm going with some kind of crappy chess. Oh, there we are. Poker. I think the only way to sell them fast is put a quid on them, isn't it? Uh, if we were in charge, 
recycle. Yeah, recycle them. If we were in charge, we probably would. Yeah, stick with them. Would you have those in ages, baby? No. No, please. Nice try. I'm not going to Theodore. I'll tell you what. Well, I told Stephen out of all this, I'm going to pick something up. I have a question. Oh. Will you marry me? Mm. I'm gonna Mind you, it's a ring, isn't it? Pound, is that all right? Yeah, I think so. That's not too bad for a quick little nipping. We've got a couple of bits. I'll show you yesterday's and then I'll show you today's as well. And then I've got some sales to go through. I was starting to go through this Lego yesterday and picking it all out. So I need to clear that table. I think what I'm going to do with that, we've got we've got mainly Lego City stuff. We've got the Ford Focus, I think that is. A few different bits and pieces here. And another bag of just bits. My camera's playing up today. It's really showing some weird glare. I can't get rid of it. I can't get rid of that sort of distortion. It's nothing to do with the lighting, but I've changed all the lighting. Whey! Can't figure it out. I don't like it. So I mean, it's distorting it. Is it time for me to get the iPhone 16? Maybe. But anyway, so yesterday, this has been a day since I've done anything as well, so obviously I'm, I'm probably gonna forget. So yesterday I was in there and I picked up a few bits. One of them for eight pounds was this little Aero Pro airbrush kit. So you've got the airbrush pen, whatever you want to call that, with a few nozzles and a can nozzle thing. That was eight pounds to get, but I don't really know if it's even going to be worth it. I'm hoping so. I haven't done any research just yet, but it's, uh, it's older as well and it's German. So I don't really know. I'm hoping there's more than eight pound in it. We'll see. 75 pence. See what I mean? Look at that. Look at my skin. Hold on a minute. what it's doing i can't stop that look that's mad i've tried a brighter light anyway you're gonna have four kids seven dogs and a swimming pool <laughs> that's really bad man a dubai snow globe 75 pence i'm hoping there's a tenor in that i could be very very wrong though most likely i am got a nice little vintage animal leather wallet trifold Little hit just here, card piece, bit for your cash, repeating logo all inside. For a pound, that's pretty decent. And it's an older one as well. So I'm happy with that. A nice vintage Collins Bible. But the reason why I picked this one up, and it was a fiver, is because it's got like this illustrated hard cover on it. You're gonna see some cuts as well. When I come up close, I'm gonna have to cut like when it all changes. And then when it comes back into focus, so bad. I don't know what's going on. I'll have to try and fix it. I paid a fiver for that. I've seen one sold similar, which is a paperback for 27 quid. So, and it's boxed. £2.25 for a brand new ProWorks bottle. See, it's got me doing this now while I'm looking at the screen instead of the camera, talking to you guys. But this one is brand new, but it's got, don't hurry, you can't even see. Wow. I'm going to have to have bought this in a minute. I'm not putting this out. It's going to be like that. Don't hurry. Be happy. I think I'm going to turn that light off for a minute. For some reason, it's not handling that backlight today. It's bagged up. It's boxed up. I don't know what it's worth. More than 225 Let me have a look at some settings on this. I don't know. No idea. Annoying. Picked up a stack of cars, which you saw. Mainly because I saw these Matchbox connectables. There's a ton that go together here. There we go. These are quite cool. I think these ones might have even came from the Rice Krispie collaboration. So you like pull them apart and you can switch and change them and have them however you want. Just a really cool, fun little toy. One that I remember having as a ute. Loads of those and loads of die cast as well. There was a pound a bag. I think I spent three pounds 25 because one was 125. And I thought this was going to be like the red line, but apparently it's just not. So I don't know. It's worth about six quid apparently. And a few other different ones over there. This one, this one is from the Hot Wheels uh, something changer. So you see that, it's that colour there. If I dip my finger in this, what 
Ooh, and then it changes back again. Funky. And a few different bits and pieces like that. What else did I pick up? Oh yeah, of course, I forgot about those there. Ooh, is that it? From there, apart from these two. Yeah. So I picked up this t-shirt because I wasn't sure who it was. I thought I'd take a chance on it. I'll do some research later. And that Antigua label just looked like it was a nice, a nice top. I've still got no idea. How much did it cost me? Two pounds. So it could be a college, it could be something, I don't know. OS. Orange. Don't know, but this one. Cezanne. Cezanne. Fay avec amour. Something, something for you or for me. This is pure silk, three pounds 25. I'll show you the tag as well in a minute because you need to be looking out for this one. People are asking like 40 to 50 quid on this one alone. I found one for like 40 euros, but I found different items from this brand. Jeans, tops, t-shirts, like 20s, 30s, 50s, 60s, 80s. So for three pounds 25, that was a nice little pickup. But things like that, I'm like, is that even worth putting on vintage? Do people know who that is? Do you know what I mean? So that one might be an eBay thing. People ask me, how do you decide what goes on where? That's how I decide, really. I think that was it for yesterday. And today, I've just been in there and I picked up this for £1.25, only because it is the, it's from the Anna Club Plush range. So I want to see if that holds any value as an Anna Club Plush, instead of being an Anna Club Plush collaboration, like with that Panther Jaguar that I picked up just the other day. £1.25 for a bunch of Playmobil knights with a little booklet and all the pieces like the swords and the shields and stuff. I think that as a bundle is going to be worth more than £1.25 regardless. So without any research, I don't mind picking that up. This, I think this might even be Mr. Mel, I'm not too sure, but it was 75p. I don't know who it is, I'll do some research. But 75p, I'm guessing he used to have a spoon just there. But you put your egg in, serve it up, and then go, your egg's ready, and then the kids can just go, I'll show you on here. And crack the egg. I think that was really smart. No spoon, but 75p, worth a pick up, isn't it? Even if, it, even if there's no resale value, Ada might like it, might. And Mystery of the Abbey. Days of Wonder always do quality board games. And I say quality, they're probably really to play, but obviously not, because everyone likes them. They do many different variants, many different styles. This one is Mystery of the Abbey. There you go, you can see what the gameplay is like on the back. Just your standard kind of board game. This is from 2005, I think, this one. 2005, £3.50. People are achieving around about £40 to £50 for that one, pre-owned. So it's a nice little one to look out for. Days of Wonder, who are the ones that produce the games, look out for that when you see it. Well, I need to clear this table and pick out some sales because I'm going away tomorrow for the week. I'm not going to be here, so I need to get this done. So that Lego, I'm probably going to stick straight back in that bag and then just do an auction for it on eBay, I think, for all of it. Every last piece, just do a big auction on eBay and get it gone. Right, let me clear some space. I forgot, I also picked up this ring. I don't think it's anything special at all. It's horrible looking, horrible colours. But it had like something printed inside. I think I've worked out what it says. I know it wasn't a hallmark. I could see it wasn't any numbers or symbols. Something like Moira Canada. I'll do a screenshot, but told Steve I'd pick something up and I've picked something up, all right? Pound. Right, let's see if this goddamn light wants to cause me any more issues. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. We're going to start off strong on Vinted with a bundle of Warhammer books. That retro guy has picked these up, same handed on all of his socials. Please do go check him out if you haven't already. He's picked these up for £6.78. What a fantastic little deal for him. And a good deal for me as well. I think they owe me a pound. Amy has picked up, well that's the name on the account anyway. Amy has picked up the M&M front page year 2000 paper. I think it's so cool. But I've got nowhere to display it. If I had a place to stick that, I'd frame it and stick it up. <laughs> but I don't. So cool. Amy, I massively appreciate that. Amy has paid £5.82. pence. The Pez dispenser bundle that I picked up from the car boot sale for a pound, which might have been less than a pound actually after the bundle deal, sold all of them for £6.81. And they have actually gone to Ed and Anita from Stockton on Tees. Thank you guys, I massively appreciate this. Big fans of your channel, keep doing what you're doing. You are a breath of fresh air, dude. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. On their way to you soon. On the listing, I actually forgot to include Darth Vader. So I had to like, take a picture of him at the end, but he's in there, I'll stuck him in, don't worry. Debbie has picked up the Radley coin and card wallet 
from Vinted for £16.16. £16. A lot of people was interested in this. I had to say to everyone, look, it's going to go live on Vinted. Fastest finger first. So there it is. Go and get it kind of thing. And it's sold. Debbie, really appreciate this. On its way to you today, £16.16. 16 pence. I paid £3.75. So that's not a bad little markup, is it? End of the day, my job is to make money. I've got a profit. Otherwise, I'm filing. The Lily Bloom bag that I paid £2 for from a charity shop, which is stuck on the chair. Sold that for £9.70. £9 70. The message says, thank you, new watcher of the channel. So, Steve, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. The vintage Badger Watch t-shirt has sold. It's gone. Sold it on Vinted, £12.12. 12 pence. It's old on that old squeeds. On that old squeeds. On that old squeeds. It's old on the old Screen Stars tag. Single stitch, just really nice. Nice big size. I just don't think I'd wear it. I have, well, obviously I haven't worn it because it's been on the rail for six months, probably. Something like that. Barbarians Rugby Top has sold for £21.21. New with the tags. Probably a very good deal, but still a very good deal for me. I paid £1 for that, I think. That's a nice little deal. Some nice vintage faded Adidas jogging bottoms now. Paid £1 from the car boot sale. They have sold for £5 and zero pence. Five pounds. For £15 and 15 pence, we've sold the Thailand t-shirt. Oh, someone's at the Someone door. Someone is at the front door. Bonjour. What tat have we got today? Ones for you, it might be something really good. Yeah, good things come in small packages, mate. See you, later, See you dude. What have we got? What have we got? God, I need some of these bags in my life. God, they're very good. Oh, one last thing I need to finish on the health kick is get rid of that, that vape addiction. <sighs> As I was saying, 15 pound and 15 pence for this Thailand football top. I can't remember what I paid for this now. Some of you will be able to remember before me. If it's from a charity shop, it'd be about three quid. If it's from a car boot sale, it'd be about a quid. Not many subscriber sales today, are there? Ryan, whatever your name is. For 11 pounds, 50 pence, I've sold this Mercedes-Benz AMG on that result tag puffer jacket, mainly because it is from a car dealership, I believe, LSH Auto UK. Stuck it through the wash, got it nice and clean, and flogged it. I think I paid £10 on Ricky's Whatnot stream and sold it for £11. It's just good business. Sold some Adidas Climber Light jogging bottoms in a medium. Nice little ones here, nice little hit like halfway down the leg, very strange. Sold them for £3.33 and they've gone to a chap called Ben. Thanks Ricky, love the videos. I've been watching for a few months now and try to watch every day. Thanks, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. Ben, Ben. Thank you, Ben. For £11, we've sold some North Face cargo trousers. These are all my own. A lot of these are my own stuff. So this is my own. My own personal. Just moving it on. Quite a nice little deal, actually, on them ones. £11 on Vinted. I am that guy that people scroll and go, Oh, look at this. I've snagged a bargain. I'm your man for the bargains. And that's all for Vinted. We do have an Instagram sale, which I'd like to talk about. Many, many, many thank yous to Mr. Thomas... He has picked this one up. It's the Harley Davidson motorcycle bag. Harley Davidson branding all through the top. Nice hits on the sides. A little bit on the back as well. Just a really, really, really nice bag. He said, how much, bro? I said, 30 pounds, we'll take it. It's all yours, 30 pounds all in. And then he sent me a message. Money's been sent. We have sent you an extra tenner as we really appreciate everything that you do and stand for. As someone with ADHD, I've found over the years that people don't necessarily like me. However, I've learned just to be my unapologetically self. So keep being you and keeping it real. Appreciate you, brother. That's exactly what happens. We have, or at least I have, and obviously Thomas does as well, tendencies, mainly because of our, the way our brains work. There's a comment that come through the video, I put it on Instagram as well, saying... I saw you on Nick and Andrew's show and I thought you was an absolute tool or something. Now I've come to realise you're an absolute genius or something like that. I am, most people dislike me on first impressions, all right, when it comes to things. They mistake my confidence for cockiness. They, they mistake it for arrogance. Arrogance, people need to look up the dictionary of arrogance. But my point is people don't normally get me immediately. I need warming to. 
So Thomas, you obviously understand that as well. I massively appreciate you, man. Your partner, you didn't have to send extra, but I do appreciate it. Originally asked 30, I got 40. Thank you, mate. Right, I'm gonna get these packed up and then we'll move on to eBay. I think we're doing all right. I think we're managing to get through this video. Typically though, I couldn't find the parking space by the post office and it's lashed. Oh, and there we go. Lovely bit of editing there. You haven't just suffered all life, suffered through my packaging experiences. I haven't suffered. Well, we're moving over to eBay now. Oh, I thought I had sus a sale by the same person, but I didn't. Both got the same first name. So, Amiibo Princess sold for £10. And the Amiibo Zelda Link sold for £9.99. I've got two left. Pikachu and, what's his name? Goomba. That's all I've got left. Nice little deal that was. Speaking of like those weird kind of indie board games, here's another one by Queen Games called Luxor. This one's brand new and sealed. This one has sold for £39.99. pence. I paid... Three pound from a car boot sale. Just this kind of, I call them indie games because they're not like, they're not like your Monopolies and your Cluedos and whatever else. They are a company that's made them. A lot of them do quite well, to be honest. 12 pounds 55 for this new and sealed Neuro pack. This is the Photo World Deluxe 4, Photo Show Deluxe 4. I told you I'd give this one cycle and I did and it sold. 12 pounds 55, what did I pay? I think it was from a car boot sale. I paid 10 pound for a bundle of stuff. So thankfully I've profited from that bundle. So I do remember actually walking away going, that was a terrible deal. <laughs> but we did all right. Finally sold the Pakeman Cato and Carter tie rack. This was in the charity shop for £2.50. Had it listed for 80, then 50, then 40, and then something else then took it off for 20 pounds. It's gone. People aren't spending that much money on kind of very unnecessary luxury at the moment, are they? And that's okay. Windows 98 CD-ROM, brand new and sealed, sold for £15. Can't show you the product key, because otherwise you could steal it. £13.49, this has a Stanley flask and a lunchbox inside it as well. The only problem is the flask was in a terrible condition. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Yeah, because I've listed it as prop display item only. I mean, you could restore it and bring it back to life. Yeah, it's got rust in all around the inside edges. People could restore that. But I paid £3.00 from the car boot sale, and it sold for £13.49. The little manta ray figures that I picked up from the charity shop, paid £2.50 for a bundle of stuff and went through it all. These are from like the Red Venom and all those kinds of toys. Sold for £8 for the bundle. Ah, John has bought again. John's picked up these for 12, oh, that makes sense actually. Yeah, I think these were listed for 10, John's paid 12. John, really appreciate that again, my man. On its way to you, to us, even 12 is still a good deal on these. For some reason, they just weren't shifting. I probably should have listed them separately, if I'm honest. But you know me, mate. I bought them in a bundle, so I sold them in a bundle. £12. Thank you, John. I appreciate that, mate. Postman's about to come and disturb us. Hello? 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 I'm in the garage. Can't find the garage key. Hello? I'm trying to shout you, but I can't find the garage key. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Look, you're lucky it's recording that way and not this and this way. Oh yeah, you don't want you don't want that coming out. You're live on channel four. Please do not say fuck or bugger. Oh, sure. fuck or bugger. Do you remember that? Say bugger or fuck. You have George. Ricky. Fuck no. off, you liar. No, it is. That is, that is an actual Ricky letter. Actual. Oh, yeah. yeah, this has got your name on it as well, this letter. That's probably a nice bill. No, because it's the wrong colour. Yeah. Oh, that's a whistle, yeah. Probably. And then one for Emma there as well, okay? Standard. Standard as usual, mate. It's what I do best. All right, I better go, mate, because I'm so far behind today. Yeah, no worries, my man. Thank you so much. Uh, Any time, brother. Take it easy, dude. Back in here, mate. Yeah, and I'll leave it open. I'll get some fresh air. I'll see you later, mate. I will. Oh, yeah, this is from the toy barn. So Ada's got this little toy dog that she loves. A very small little Barbie dog. This one here. And she calls it Tracy. And now the other day, when Ada was at school, I walked through the living room and I heard her. I looked down, can Tracy. I tried to push it back together as much as I could. Like, squeeze it. Ada came home, found it. Where's Tracy? Ah, oh, there she is. Found it and went, lost it. Lost it. So we brought her another one. But not only that, it's got all the accessories and stuff. I had to pay a tenner for that. Tracy cost me nothing. It's not even called Tracy. 
Big man, Matt, Matt Ipswich has picked up. I say Matt Ipswich because that's his vintage name if you want to go and check him out. He also has an Instagram account. I'll log that just here as well. Matt has picked up two things. He's picked up the rest of the badges from the last lot that I showed you that sold. And the Schleich or Schleck Dragon. Schleck Dragon, 1293 And these were £9.99. Some nice little bits. And look how cool they are. Matt, I appreciate you, mate. So again, Matt Ipswich on Vinted. And here's his Instagram. Please do go ch ch check him out. And would you, Adam and Eve, it? That is all of the sales. So Blue has also claimed his IKEA bag from the freebie giveaway. So congratulations, Blue. Massively appreciate you entering, mate. On its way to you today as well in the postage. And I want to do another giveaway. What can I do? What can we give away? What can we give away? Let me have a look. I've decided I'm going to give away nothing and you're all going to enter. No, literally, nothing. Do you know how many times I've given this away and it hasn't been claimed? Somebody else on YouTube won it. They didn't claim it. Aboriginal Ian won it. He said, give it away again to the next person. Ricky won it and said, just didn't collect it. So now I need somebody to collect this. You've got to win it. It's a ball of nothing. For the man who has everything, you can win nothing. What do you want? To enter for your ball of nothing, all you've got to do is comment down below anything you want. Like the video and then drop a comment and then you'll be entered. Thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it. Today is Thursday and I'm going away on Friday, which is tomorrow. So no idea if there'll be a video or not. There might be some charity shops around by. And if there is, you know I'm popping in. Holiday or not. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Who gives away nothing? Nothing.